Hello there. This is the story, the tragic story of the fall of another child star. We're all familiar with the story by now. Someone becomes a child star, they become famous, too young. Macaulay Culkin is a very famous, probably the most famous example of this. And they can't handle the fame. They fall into drugs, they fall into alcohol, they fall into various other CD industries and their life doesn't take the positive spin that they were probably originally hoping it would. This today is about Joey Kramer. If you've never heard of Joey Kramer, don't be um, alarmed by this. He was famous for being in the movie Flight of the Navigator. Flight of the Navigator is a 1986 movie about a kid who sort of gets displaced in time, but is the navigator of an alien ship that abducted him in the first place for various reasons. It's actually a really good film and made his name. Unfortunately, after production was wrapped, he found that he couldn't fit in with the other kids and he started hanging around with the bad boys and girls, smoking and drinking, because they were the only ones that really would accept him. Everyone else used to pick on him. Before that, he was born in 1973 in Canada. He made his acting debut in a film called Runaway, starring Tom Selleck, which has some really cool mechanical spiders in it. I actually really like that film as well. They're probably the two highlights of his career, but obviously Flight of the Navigator is the film he's most well known for. But his life would take a downward spiral. And in the 90s, his acting career kind of died and he went off the wagon hard. From about 2008, when we have records that I can find of anywhere that he began turning up in police reports, he'd been arrested for careless storage of a firearm, narcotics possession with the intent to distribute, and a few other sort of associated crimes along those nature. He eventually, though, this would culminate in a series of escalating problems over the years. Similar things in 2011. Narcotics possession, substance, basic substance abuse problems. He eventually became homeless. And then in 2016, he would commit a much more serious felony. Wearing a disguise, he would rob a bank, the Scotia Bank in British Columbia to be specific. He was arrested and detained despite attempts to flee capture afterwards. He would then basically say that he only really robbed it to get attention because he really didn't know what to do. He was at his wits end, probably thought his life was over. And quite frankly, if you've reached a point where you're homeless and you're robbing banks to survive, your, your life, you're as low as you're getting without being dead, pretty much. And I think that's where, unfortunately, he seemed to be going. The judge was somewhat lenient on him. He got two years minus a day in jail with a two years probationary period on top of that as a punishment for his crime, time he did serve. In 2020, a, li a documentary would be made about him and his life, which would be released on Blu-ray, but it is a sad story and it's another example of why fame at a young age is not a good thing. Child stars need to be protected. Not in a, we're going to steal all your money, not give you any independence, Britney, father, should I say, and treat you like garbage and just, you do all the work, we get all the um, accolades for it. Not that kind of protection. They need to be protected from people like that, quite frankly. They need to be protected from the very industry in which they're working. If you're going to allow your child to become an actor or a model or a singer or some other very, very public spotlight industry. You need to be very, very careful the kind of people they mix with, the kind of world that they move in. Because education, we all got annoyed going to school, but let's face it, without education, without schools, we'd all might as well go live in a cave. It's that that defines you as a person. It socially matures you. It teaches you how to interact with people, how to deal with problems. It socializes you. By taking a child out of that scenario, we see here with Joey Kramer, when he went back to school, he could no longer do that. He'd associated with adults. He associated with actors and directors and publicists and other such people. He didn't associate with children. He wasn't acclimatized and now he couldn't interact with them. Their interests were different. They saw him as strange and weird. He couldn't understand them or any longer relate to them. And that was the beginning of the problem. By the time he's a man 
by the time he's an adult, he's not developed the proper social skills to really move about society. Now, I don't know him personally, and I am generalizing in this assessment, but quite frankly, based on the available evidence, I think it's a reasonable conclusion that I'm either close to the mark or right on it. I could be way off, but I don't think I am. And it's been something that's been repeated over and over and over and over again too many times in Hollywood where a young star is totally derailed and taken down a path which they never should have gone down. Now, Flight of the Navigator may have been the height of his career and his fame, but it also was the beginning of his own undoing. His life after that was not pro properly managed and guided by the people that were basically using him to make money. And although I don't want to comment on how his parents were, clearly they must have thought something because they pulled him out of that world, but they never really fully integrated the game. And it's sad to see a life and talent go that way. There's nothing to say that he was destined to become a bank robber and a thief and a drug addict, only that that's the course that his life took, the trajectory given to him after this movie. Now all of this, I'm going to say, I'm going to put a big allegedly in here. Although he was definitely convicted of these crimes, how he took it upon himself to do them, the steps he took to get there are very much allegedly. So take that as you will. This is the point where he started from 1973, going into acting in 1984, starring in a big budget movie that made him very famous, to taking the baby steps down the yellow brick road to the destiny that ultimately took him into that bank in 2016. Whatever else happened between then and there, allegedly, is all very bad. And I'm happy to say he does seem to have turned his life around now, and does seem to be better, with even a few, if you check out IMDb, he's got a few extra acting credits popping up to his name. They're shorts, but hey, he didn't rob in a bank. So, only a short video. I know I haven't uploaded to this channel very often. I do only like to do it sparingly, because I have other channels that I do more than this, and I would like to spend more time doing this channel. One way to do that is to like, share, subscribe to get more subscribers and I can give this channel a bit more attention, do longer form videos, I'll have more time to do them. But no pressure. If you enjoyed this video though, please do like, share and subscribe to help this channel grow and also check out in the description box below links you will find to my other channels that are also on YouTube that are a little bigger. And with that said, we're at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it and you made it all the way through this video anyway, that's weird. But all the same, thank you. And bye bye. I'd just like to say a thank you to everyone for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoy making these. If you did enjoy it, please consider giving a like, share and a subscribe and maybe checking out the other videos on the screen right now. And in the description box below, there are links to my other social media accounts.